Hi guys, it is June 18, 2019. I, I'm really having a problem uh, living 24-7 surrounded by lies. I feel like that that's what life has become, just one meaningless lie, 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 one after the other, um, and lying in this, look, we started this country on lies and we're ending it on lies, and unfortunately, the ordinary American, we've got so many who lie. You know, this idea that Americans are morally superior and exceptional is so unbelievably, outrageously wrong. It is not a lie. It's actually, it's psychotic to believe that. It is so delusional that it's frightening. Um, but listening to these people lie, like Trump, I don't know how people can support liars. I don't know how people can support Trump. Awake. And on the same page, during the Obama years, Trump comes into office and all of a sudden, so many have just jumped into that Trump wagon. Yay! Make America great again! Yay! Not understanding that, what, do you think the divide and conqueror stopped when Trump came into office? Oh, but Carol, he is pulling down the deep state and he's fighting really hard for us. And don't you understand? They, they never provide any evidence of what they claim nor did they provide any evidence for their support of this guy. They're just supporting him. Lie after lie after lie. So, you know, the dancing Israelis, the 9-11 dancing Israelis, have come back um, into uh, our attention, should I say. This, look, the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm going to play just a few minutes of James Corbett's uh, New World Next Week report. Yeah, now FBI partially releases redacted photos of 9-11 dancing Israelis. But just doing a little bit of research, what do I come across? What do I come across? This. Ah, hang on. Sorry, I didn't want you to have to listen to the... <laughs> to the modified muffler of a car in the parking lot. All right, listen to this. Great. Very interesting play. Everyone who helped clear the rubble, and I was there, and I watched, and I helped a little bit, but I want to tell you, those people were amazing. I helped a little bit. I was there. You pulled people from the rubble? How do you support somebody so disgusting? How do you support these liars? That's our problem. If people would begin to hold liars accountable, they would. we wouldn't be swimming in sludge. Oh my God. All right, well... That's what we have in 2015. 2015. This is this is Trump. <sighs> During a speech recently, I said that I saw in parts of New Jersey, Jersey City, but parts of New Jersey, I saw people getting together and in fairly large numbers celebrating as the World Trade Center was coming down, killing thousands of people. Thousands and thousands of people. People are still dying of what happened to the World Trade Center. And they're dying. Okay, those people. People, really? I do believe, if I recall correctly, he at one point said that they were Muslims. But everybody knows. The dancing Israelis. This is a Zionist puppet. Awake. People are supporting Trump. He is a Zionist puppet. 
what how how do we how do we reconcile our what is it cognitive dissonance normalcy bias um, confirmation bias I don't know I mean it's like I don't know how to reconcile anything but all I can say is the majority of Americans whether awake or sleep asleep they literally do not know how to think they do not know how to think independent you know their own independent thinking and I think a lot of that has to do with the infantilization of Americans their children they want mommy and daddy to fix all of the problems see this is daddy Trump and all of his kids behind him all of his kids behind him so he is talking about how mainstream media they were claiming that his claims about people celebrating on 9-11 was not true they, uh, where was the evidence of that and then he says Washington Post 2018 people were found celebrating on the rooftops in New Jersey okay mainstream media reported the celebrations and then Trump also had you know, made those claims and then mainstream media comes out and says where's your evidence of that when so many millions had heard that report I mean this is this is gaslighting up the wazoo. Mainstream media, government officials, all of the lies, intelligence agencies involved in, um, in, in putting out information that will render the individual unable to figure out what the hell is going on. The most important thing for that individual is to do the research themselves. And then when, when, once you have, you know, a, a enough knowledge on these agendas, and understand the manipulations of governments and intelligence agencies, in particular Mossad and CIA. You don't have to worry about every individual lie and all of the bullshit because you have a basis of knowledge and you understand that all of this information and contradictory information, like on 9-11, 2001, if you were listening to and watching all of these reporters they were talking about how many people were hearing bombs go off the police the firefighters reporters bombs and then the next day you never hear about that again wow okay but it's like Americans are just little itty bitty children allowing mainstream media to just direct them to that narrative, the official narrative, even though they heard something 24 hours before that now, 24 hours later, they no never hear of it again. And then you face those Americans and you talk about the bombing and they say there was no bombing. Oh, but what? Wait, you heard them on 9 11 talk about bombing. No, there was no. They're like little puppets. They're like little children. I have to follow what daddy said. I have to believe the why. I am really tired of it, guys. And yeah, you know, 
the the if Americans just focused on not lying themselves and not allowing other people to lie, we could turn the tide and begin heading in another direction. But that requires work. Lazy children. We've got a lot of lazy children. And there they are, sitting behind this guy, Trump. Okay, so what Trump says about those celebrating, he refers to them as the people. 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 People? Really? No. No identity. It's just the people. Israelis. We're celebrating. And I, I do want you to see this. You know, talk about programmed people. Here. I want you to be great again. That's what the whole thing is, right? There you go. The trigger words. Oh! Want America to be great again. That's when, yay, yay, and I'm going to hold up my Trump sign, yay. Will they do anything to help make America great again? No. No. It's daddy who's going to make America great again. And he gets the support of his children, who get so excited when he just speaks a few words, kind of like Obama. Yes, we can. Yes, we can make America great again. It was never great. You have to face the truth. If you don't face the truth, then you will always be part of the problem. You will always be contributing to the downfall, your own downfall. That <laughs> unbelievable what is taking place. Unbelievable. And I know that a lot of you are feeling it too. And I know that a lot of you are really struggling now because the insanity has just gotten to a point where uh, how do you live in the midst of it when you're alone in the midst of it? For me, I wanted life to mean something. I really wanted life to mean something. When people lie, they render life meaningless. I've experienced it over and over and over again in my personal life. I experienced it over and over and over again in uh, just being an American, the lies told to us repeatedly. I've experienced the lack of care over and over again. I've experienced people laughing at me because I really thought it was important to hold people accountable. I've experienced being attacked. God, Carol, you're just so serious because I regard the truth as the most important. It's just, you know, if, look, We're not morally superior. There is no American exceptionalism except for the fact that we are exceptional at deluding ourselves and living a delusion. All right. The problem with me is I have for the recent years When I'm posting videos, when I'm speaking, I want to pull up that one one thing that that might make the difference. I want to, you know, pull it up in my own mind and speak it, you know, and that's going to make the difference. And people will start to maybe consider, you know, 
maybe accepting the lies is not a good practice. Maybe lying is not a good practice. Maybe I really do need to grow up and take responsibility for what is taking place. But eight years of doing this. Well, here we are. More evidence dancing Israelis. And no, it's not the Jews. I'm so sick of reading that. The Jews are just as indoctrinated as you Christians. So it's the government, intelligence agencies. It's truly the nut jobs who, Jewish or not, those who have a wealth that they can literally reshape the world via corporations, companies, organizations, NGOs, uh, via the United Nations. You know, I... What this time demands of us is to get smarter. You know, I find it interesting that so many Gentiles write these comments about how the Jews have destroyed the world. That tiny segment of the population? Really? Well, then doesn't that mean that they're pretty smart? Well, maybe you should get smarter. Look. It's not the Jews. It's the Zionists. And there are so many Jews who are actively involved in fighting their own government, their Zionist government. So, uh, you want to you wanna have a scapegoat? Go for it. But you're a lazy child. You just want to have somebody to blame. That's easy. You won't blame yourself, though, sitting back doing nothing. So that's, that's why people scapegoat other people, because they don't want to look at themselves. We've got an awful lot of evil Christians partaking in the attack upon the world to bring in world tyranny. Anyway, I digress. Here, more evidence. Really important, just kind really of, important. I think, landmark work coming from landmark Whitney Webb. From Newly Webb. released FBI Newly docs released shed 9-11 light shed on dancing light Israelis. For nearly two Israelis. decades, one of the most overlooked and little-known arrests made in the aftermath of September 11th was that of the so-called high-fivers or the dancing Israelis. New information released by the FBI on May 7th brought fresh scrutiny to the possibility that the dancing Israelis, at least two of whom are known most Mossad operatives had prior knowledge of the attacks on the World Trade Center. Shortly after, hang on, guys. I'm sorry for the interruption. 6 a.m. on the day of the attacks, just minutes after the first plane struck the World Trade Center, five men, later revealed to be Israeli nationals, had positioned themselves in the parking lot of the Doric apartment complex in Union City, New Jersey, where they were seen taking pictures and filming the attacks while also celebrating the destruction of the towers and high-fiving each other. At least one eyewitness interviewed by the FBI had seen the Israeli's van in the parking lot as early as 8 o'clock that morning, more than 40 minutes prior to the start of the attacks. The story received coverage in U.S. mainstream media at the time, but has since pretty much largely been forgotten. The myth. Forgotten. The myth. Forgotten. And the people. It's the people. They were Israelis. And this guy is going to cover that up, calling them people without any kind of identification, though I do believe prior to this he called them Muslims. Yeah. 
How can you support this guy? Awake crowd, how do you support this guy? Well, I will link below to the dancing Israelis. I will link below to these news clips. Yeah, back in 2002, Israel spying on America um, and talking about those Israelis that were arrested on 9-11 and let go. Another news clip that also talks of the Israelis that were arrested. And here, this is the cop that pulled over that white van. Yeah, if you don't know anything about this, uh, well, you can listen to those videos. I'm speaking, look, I've been doing this for eight years. I don't want to have to prove every single point. And now I'm speaking to subscribers. Yeah, I do speak as if you do know this. And if you don't know, then you need to do the work. I don't need to foon, spoon feed you with every little bit of evidence. And clearly, you know, I'm not your you know, regular or whatever, these YouTubers, or I'm just a, I came onto YouTube just concerned about what's going on. I had no interest, intention of being a YouTube reporter. This was not my second career. I simply started doing it because I was so concerned. Eight years later, everything has gotten worse. So, of course, I'm feeling like Does it matter? Does it really matter? If we present that fabulous video. Do you know how many people present fabulous videos? And everything has gotten worse. The leaders of certain agendas. Awake people need leaders, really? So, like Dane Wigginton and He's not my leader. And why do people refer to him as a leader? But what has happened? Everything's gotten worse. Whether used as a weapon is out of control, destroying hundreds of thousands of people. More and more Americans are getting destroyed on a daily basis. What does it matter? You know, I'm not here to feed my ego. So if I were, if that were, you know, the purpose, I would not be posting these videos. I'd be posting the fabulous videos. Though I'm not sure I'm, you know, capable in terms of all of the tech that people use. But, you know, at this point now, I just want to talk to you guys. That's all I want to do. It's just talk to you. You know, I... <laughs> when you see, when you live in real life, no one caring about the truth. No one. And you're surrounded by people who lie. And one betrayed you so bad with her lies that you still haven't gotten over it. Yeah, awake people. The truthers. Really? The truthers? Most people do nothing, do nothing, and really don't care, awake or asleep. A few people really care, and unfortunately, a lot of them are alone, without any support. And that's why I say these things, because I do read your comments, and I read the emails, and I know a lot of you are really hurting. You know, this is the madness to be surrounded you know, by it and never be able to 
have even an intelligent conversation. People acting like kids. People act, and they don't care. They don't care. I was told, I don't want to grow. Oh, good. So you'll remain a child. Great. What the hell is this? And if you're able to just go on and, you know, never get upset about what's going on, then I'm sorry. There's, you know, you're perhaps just all about yourself and don't really care about what is taking place. People are dying. Since 9-11, we have had so many events take place. And now it's obvious. You know, the tyranny is so taking hold. We are not a free people. But, you know, it's like it depletes your energy, your spirit, everything to be so surrounded by people who just don't give a shit about anything. Trump supporters supporting this guy who lies, who is just a disgusting, immature bully, a Zionist puppet who lies all the time. Yes, I have a playlist. It's called Trump. What's, what, what? Yeah. Okay, well, unsub. Unsub. I don't care how many subs I have. You want to unsub because I call out the lies that are obvious because I post videos on, hey, look at who Trump is appointing. It's all on my playlist. You want to unsub me? You care nothing about the truth, and you're walking the low road. All you care about is personality, and your daddy who's going to fix it all, while you can sit back and be that child enjoying your day. Well, there's a lot of Americans who are not enjoying anything anymore because everything has been taken from them. Oh, but the economy is doing great. Really? You want to listen to those lies? I don't know what the hell happened to this community, but it's truly messed up. Again, Sivan Kersberg, yeah. Paul Kersberg, Kersberg Odid Elner, Yaron Shimoyel, and Omar, Omar Marmari Omar were Omar subsequently Omar. apprehended Omar. later that day by law enforcement, <laughs> claimed to be Israeli <laughs> tourists <laughs> on a working <laughs> holiday in the United States where they employed the by a moving company, by Urban by Moving by Systems. Urban Moving Systems. All right. I know that a lot of you know about this, and yeah, uh, well, Here's the article and the FOIA uh, documents that were received, dancing Israelis. But, hey, who cares, right? Who cares? Who cares that these guys had their cameras set up before anything happened, pointing at the World Trade Center's perfect view from New Jersey, across the river. Who cares? They were documenting. They, that's what they said, documenting the event. Oh, you're documenting the event before it occurs? Doesn't that suggest that you know that it's going to happen? My God. Look. I'll link below to everything. This is the cop that stopped them. And I believe in this interview, he says, I'm not going to be speaking out about this publicly anymore. I deal with my own frustrations in real life. So, yeah, but this is the cop that arrested those guys. And what happened? They were released. They were released. Did Zionist Jews know in advance that the Twin Towers would be hit? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. You speak to 
an average American about this and they would not give a shit. And that's what I'm tired of. But I do apologize for my tone. I wish, look, I wish I could have done so many things better. I wish that I wasn't living the circumstance that I fell into. Um, and I sure wish that I was not living, you know, what I am living. And I'm going to show you a little bit of what I am living because I, it's, it's 24-7 uh, stress, frustration, overwhelm. I can't, I'm not going to deny it. I just, I wish that this, this here community of ours was not now so destroyed. Eight years ago, it was great. Oh, and it's not just Google and the censorship that's taking place. Eight years ago, people were working together. There was, um, there was trust. Yeah, we had the people who were you know, just immature babies, you know, trying to pull other people down. But on the whole, people were working together, passing along information, and it was really energizing. I was wowed. I had never, never was I on social media. YouTube was my first experience. I was like, whoa, man, this is great. Yeah, Google comes along. And I could see the tactics, which I posted on, that were being used to break the bonds. You know, YouTube had friends. Oh, you could, and they needed to be accepted. And the minute they changed friend to contact, I knew where this was going. And I think that was back when I was still in Great Barrington. Uh, maybe 2011, 2012 or something, or I don't know, it could have been after. Friends to contact. Friends denotes a obligation. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Another interruption. A neighbor. He couldn't take his dog out of the car because there was this huge snake right by the car. Oh, man. All right. So, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I know, you know, I wish, I hope that I can come back. You know, I'm really struggling with focusing, concentrating. Um, I feel like my brain is just on overwhelm. And no, uh, some of us have the kind of destroyed life where you don't have the option anymore. It's been taken away. Think about the freedom. Think about the little bit of freedom that you still have, right? If you have some money, yeah, you can take a couple of days off. You can go on vacation. You can do something that you enjoy. Not that money, you know, brings enjoyment. But you can have all of it taken away. And suddenly you're living life without any option. Choice, gone. And that's what I live. So yes, it has uh, it has an effect. So it's not just the frequencies, but it's also the stress and the frustration. Um, all of it takes its toll. Yes, we are at war. And I get to say what I have just said. I get to have my life experience and speak it. And, you know, if you want to judge what I'm saying as negative and all this crap, go ahead. Go ahead. Reveal the low level of thinking that you have. Reveal your programming that you have never done any work to get rid of. Reveal how indoctrinated you are to shut people up who have experienced the consequences of the evil reveal that you haven't yet you're still comfortable because that's that's the crowd that's doing the judgment the judging of people
the homeless, the drug addicts, the you know people who don't want help. Um, you, you just want to suffer. All of this bullshit. You know, there are so many facets to this nightmare that we are living. And they all need to be exposed. And the problem is, is that a lot of people select out the truth that they want to focus on. The truth, if you really regard truth as important, then you're facing your own truth. Your own truth. Your contribution to this, to this nightmare. And frankly, that's the shift I wanted to make a long time ago. But I don't know what the hell's going on with my brain. It's really, wow, quite the trip, man. It's, I don't know, most days I have no clue what I'm doing. I don't. I'm like, what's going on with me? All right, well, that's what happens, you know? You know, dealing with all the poisons and the frequencies and the, you know, in my case, you know, the destruction of life and, uh, and an awful lot of subscribers, you know, they're lying, you know, it's just, and I do have an experience that is very different from a lot of YouTubers. I don't consider myself a YouTuber, a truther, or whatever. I just happen to think the truth is really important. Really important. And I don't like to see suffering. Okay, well, then I just continue to do my best. Uh, but, you know, more and more is going to come. More and more. More and more. Tyranny is just going to continue to cement itself. And those of you who are comfortable, you ain't getting out. <laughs> you're not getting out of this unless you die really soon you're not gonna get out of this you know unscathed how many subscribers do I know who have met the circumstance when they didn't years ago they were fine 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 well now why why is this all going on because people except lies and they don't care about the truth that's the bottom line you can simplify all of the problems that we are facing but you can put them under the umbrella of lies